How's it going guys? It's WHG Films 1 here again and I'm bringing you guys another tutorial. In this one I'm going to show you guys how to um, export footage from Final Cut Pro and upload it to YouTube uh, where it will be uh, 1080p HD if that's what you're actually trying to accomplish. So uh, let's get started today. Um, of course this is my video footage right here. Um, a video that I'm working on and this is my timeline here. So. <laughs> Just browsing through the video. So the first thing you want to do once you're edit, done editing your video, um, make sure, see right here it says sequence 5. Make sure you select sequence 5 over here in your browser. So once that's selected, <clears throat> the next thing you do, go to um, File, Export, uh, using QuickTime Conversion. All right, once that window pops up, you see the screen right here that says save. And what do you want to do? You want to uh, name your video. I'm going to name this one Just Closure YouTube. All right, uh, the next thing you want to do, you want to go to options. All right, go to settings. All right, compression type H264. Uh, we're going to leave this at H264 because that's um, YouTube's um, compatible compression type. So we're going to leave that there. And next you're going to see compressor. You always want that best. So scroll down over to best. All right, that should be good. Then next you hit OK. <clears throat> and then we're going to go down to filter. And then go to um, adjustments. Hit the down arrow and click on color sync. And once you click on color sync, you're going to go to another menu. And you're going to leave everything on current monitor, current monitor, uh, perceptual photos and basically what this stuff means is exactly how your video shows right here in the canvas that's exactly what's gonna happen or that's exactly how it's gonna show um, once you upload it to YouTube okay so what happens if you don't go to adjustments and you don't go to color sync so how what about if we go back to none um, or just matter of fact just go to adjustments again um, Let's see, what can we click on here to show you the difference? Um, we can go to color sync. And if you choose one of these, by default, it's set, it always set to HDTV Rec 709. And what HDTV Rec 709 does, it actually adds um, more blacks to your video. So your video may look fine in the canvas. You may export it and it may still look good, but once you upload it to YouTube, if you still have it set to HDTV Rec 709, it's going to add more black, so your video is going to come out dark and you're going to get all upset um, wondering why your video is, is, is not correct. So once you go to, uh, go to adjustments, once again, color sync, and make sure everything is current monitored so it can look exactly how it looks on your canvas. All right, hit OK. And then uh, go to size, depending on how did you shoot the footage. Did you shoot it uh, 1920 to 1080 HD? If so, click 1920 to 1080 HD. If you shot it uh, 1280 to 720 HD, then of course you want to click 12, <laughs> 1280 to 720 HD. But of course what I did, I shot 1920 to 1080, so that's exactly what I'm going to choose. And of course, if you shot... 1280 to 720 and you upload it to YouTube of course you're not going to get that 19 to 20 to 1080 HD setting so since that's how I shot mine I'm going to choose this setting hit OK and uh, go to sound settings everything should be good so you don't have to change anything there hit OK um, make sure your video is saved uh, under the name that you want it to be saved as make sure it's where you want it to go and then hit save all right, and once you hit save, basically your video is going to start to render out, and this is what's going to happen next. All right, now that everything is done uh, exporting, here's my video here. Of course, uh, you can right click, click on Get Info, um, it shows you the quick time movie, it shows you the size, and of course, YouTube it has to be less than uh, 2 gigabytes, so 9.16.2 megabytes that's um, right under 1 gig, so we find there. Uh, dimensions 1920 to 1080 so once you upload it to YouTube it's going to have that um, the 1080 setting and here it is 8.264 all right so we're good there um, all right so let's go to YouTube and check out the actual closure video
All right, uh, here it is, closure. And see, it, it always default to this 360p, and what you want to do, hit this arrow, and now that it, it has this 1080p setting, so um, that's how you upload a video to YouTube, H.264 with a 1080p setting, or 720 if that's what you choose, and there's the setting there also. So you just let it load up, watch it play, you'll be all set.